What's up guys, Justin here with the Rhino Essentials. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to create transparent materials inside of Rhino. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is a simple window model that I've actually brought over from SketchUp. And basically what it is, is it's just got a single surface in here over these window mullions. And currently the material that's over top of them is not transparent. So I wanted to talk about a couple different ways that we can add transparent materials inside of Rhino for things like glass and other things like that. So the way this is gonna work is we wanna start by jumping over in the materials section on the right hand side and we wanna click on materials. And so that's gonna show us all of the materials that are currently inside of our model. And so what we wanna do is we wanna create a new material that's gonna be transparent, that's gonna act as a glass material right here. And so the easiest way to do this is gonna to be to click on the plus button right here and just use a glass preset. So if I click on the glass preset right here, what that's gonna do is that's gonna add a material and I can just call this window glass, we'll call it window glass gray for right now. And so what that's done is that's basically created a glass material that I can drag in here. And the cool thing about that is inside of Rhino, and you can see through this if you're in rendered mode or you'll also be able to see through it if you're in ray trace mode. Um, but the cool thing about this is this one's already set up um, with the index of refraction, everything like that. Um, and it's already doing what it's supposed to do. And so we can come in here and we can adjust the color using this window right here. So let's say we wanted this to be a lighter blue material, something like that, you can click on this and do that. However, be aware of the fact that that's only going to show up if you jump over into ray trace mode, right? So in like regular rendered mode, this piece of glass isn't gonna show up with the color associated with it, it's just gonna show up as transparent right here. So for this one, actually since we named it, gray, I guess we should probably make it gray. So you can use those presets in order to do that. Alternatively, if you wanna create your own glass, so let's say we wanted to come in here and just click on custom like this. So we're gonna click the plus and click on custom. You could create a material and just call it a window glass blue. And in this case, notice how this gives us all of the different settings associated with the material inside of Rhino. So let's say I wanted to give this a lighter blue color like this click on OK. I could apply that to the surface, but notice how it's not currently transparent, right? It's not actually letting light through. Well, you can adjust the transparency of a material by coming over here and adjusting this transparent slider up. And so the more transparent you make it, the less you're going to see the color that's in there and the more light this is going to let through. So you can kind of plus or play around with this a little bit. You can also play with the index of refraction. So the index of refraction is basically going to um, be a measurement of, I believe it's the speed of light as it travels through a material. We don't need to worry too much about the technical aspects of this. Just know that different materials have different indexes. So in this case, for example, like um, I'm gonna put this in as like a 1.45 or something like that, which I think is what um, the window window glass over here. Oh no, it comes in as a 1.52. So we're gonna put this in as a 1.52. That's just going to affect the way that the light is refracted through this material. And again, note that when we jump over into ray trace mode, you're getting more of this blue material in here. So you can adjust how transparent this is. Um, in order to adjust how much light is coming through this. Um, you can basically create your own custom materials in here just by doing this. And so you could create as many different materials as you wanted to. So for example, we'll jump back into rendered mode, but let's say we had a red glass or something like that. So something that's a little bit more colorized. We could just do a window glass red, give it a color, and most of the time, I'm just gonna go with the materials that are contained inside of Rhino. So we could also do maybe like a green glass or something like that. So if we do glass, window glass, green, and then apply that to this surface. Notice how we're getting our different colors of glass in here in our rendering. And so one other thing that's cool about this is if I jump over into rendered view and I uh, shine a light through this, so I've just got a spotlight set up to shine through this, uh, through this window, is note that the materials are actually going to change the color of the light as it goes through here. So when you render this out, light is actually going to be affected by the colors that are inside of your scene. So for example, if I was to adjust this green material right here to something else, so let's say I was to make it maybe like a stronger green or something like that. Notice how that's going to change inside of the scene 
right here. And so just be aware that the color of your transparent material is actually going to affect the light that passes through your scenes as well. All right, so that's an easy way to create transparent materials inside a Rhino. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions or what you'd like to see next. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.